This is a car, not just any car, it's an Audi. Well, okay, it's a model of an Audi, because the studio is only so big. You know what's big? Earth. Not big enough for us, though, it seems. There are too many of us living too expensively from an environmental point of view. In fact, we are currently using the resources of 1.7 Earths, because we want to drive Audis, for example. I mean, who wouldn't? The good news is that we are aware of this issue and we want to change things. And we took action. You've heard about increasing e-mobility to reduce CO2? Yet there is another big factor adding to the carbon footprint, and that is within the production process. In fact, the more we shift to electric cars in the close future, the more emissions are caused in the supply chain from raw materials to the supplier. That makes up a pretty huge piece of the cake. And it's not yummy, because it's gas. Let's take a closer look. Aluminum and batteries are key components for an e-tron. To tackle the gas cake, we decided that every provider of high-voltage battery cells has to manufacture 100% through green energy. Also, we partnered with recycling and material specialist companies to find ways to recycle cobalt and nickel. These are not just two cool names for a German TV cop show, but also chemical elements essential for HV battery production. Recycling and reusing them will save both resources and CO2. In 2017, we developed the aluminum closed loop, a method of taking the scraps of aluminum accumulating during production and giving them back to the supplier, who then makes new aluminum parts like when you make cookies from leftover dough. That sounds easier than it is. Turns out, due to customs regulations, you can't transport scraps over borders just like that. And we make sure that the material is not downcycled. After all, we don't make soda cans but cars. On the balance sheet, this recycling method saved 90,000 tons of CO2 in 2018. We talked a lot about cakes and cookies to define 50 specific ways of reducing carbon. We've already identified how to save 1.2 tons per vehicle, which equals your next flight from Los Angeles to New York, or driving around 10,000 kilometers in your Audi. Still can't imagine how much 1.2 tons are? Try lifting this bull. If you multiply this by our vehicle sales from last year, that would be over 2 million tons of CO2 saved. Small steps that all count toward the overall goal. We've set the foundation for Audi's vision for 2050 to be entirely CO2 neutral. We know that we still have a way to go. The challenge lies in the millions of details to be coordinated with thousands of suppliers, partners, and governments around the globe. Q Globe. We know why we do this. Not for that model, but for the big one.